Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to simplify ratios. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so with uh, simplifying ratios, um, you know, it's kind of very similar to simplifying fractions, really. Um, it pretty much has the same idea behind it. But I'm going to show you folks the long method first, and then I'll show you how the... Um, the shortcut works as well so basically uh, we're having a look at 4 is to 20 now if you think about it 4 uh, 20 can be written as 4 times 5 uh, so what we can do is we can actually uh, simplify this ratio further on because if you think about it you could actually do 4 you could do 4 divided by 4 and you could also do 20 divided by 4 and, and I think ratios work in the same way as fractions do uh, whatever you do in the one side you've got to do on the other side as well uh, but in fractions it's whatever you do in the numerator you've got to do in the denominator as well so in this particular case I've got 4 divided by 4 which is 1 and then 20 divided by 4 is actually 5 so what this is telling me is that for every 1 there's actually 5 of the other quant item that there is now if we were to think about this as fractions as fractions 4 um, to 20 you would actually write this as 4 20ths and of course you could simplify this fraction because 4 is a common factor in both of these numbers and when we do this we are going to get 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 20 divided by 4 is 5 and what you'll notice is that you're pretty much getting the same answer but just written in a slightly different way when it, with, with fraction anyway but it's kind of the same idea for ratios as well so let's have a look at 8 and 28. Now when we look at 8 is to 28, our first instinct is, well, actually 28 is not actually divisible by 8, but it is divisible by 2, both of these numbers. So I'm going to do divided by 2 first. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And when I do this, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 28 divided by 2 is 14. Now, once again, I can probably do this um, I can simplify this further because both of these numbers are even numbers so I could actually divide by 2 again and this time 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 14 divided by 2 is 7 so 8 to 8 to 28 could be re re simplified as 2 is to 7 now you might be wondering hang on can I just go 8 divided by 4 straight away and 28 divided by 4 straight away of course you can um, however it, there's nothing wrong in doing the long method as well but I think if you are comfortable with um, simplifying fractions then you're most likely comfortable with simplifying ratios because let's have a look at this question 8 to 28 as a fraction I could write it as 8 over 28 and at this point I know that 4 happens 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 7 is 28 so I could actually I'm gonna slightly do this a different way so I could rewrite this as 4 times 2 and 28 as 4 times 7. And because 4 divided by 4 is 1, they cancel out each other. And we're left over with just 2 over 7. And as you can see, once again, we've got the simplifying ratio. It's kind of got the similar ideologies with um, simplifying fractions as well. And finally, going to question 3, when we have 3 to 7, you can see that 3 and 7, there's actually no common factors at all, which means we can't actually simplify that particular ratio any further. And even if you look at it as a fraction, if you think about it, 3 over 7 as a fraction, you can't really simplify it any further. So that's just going to stay as 3 over 7. And in this case, 3 over 7, you cannot simplify the ratio anymore. So I guess the main kind of message here is for simplifying ratios is that you know one tip is to convert it into a fraction and then simplify it the other is that uh, remembering that whatever you do on the left hand side you've got to do on the right hand side as well but it can't be pluses or minus it can only be multiplied multiplication and division um, so that's just something to keep in mind as well as you work through um, simplifying ratios all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.